Okay, it's time now to go back for our blast from the past, and this time, 1981. Seems like yesterday, but in fact it was not. And we'll take a look at the Battle of the Brandywine from that great year gone by of 1981. Here's the call. The hottest horse of early 1981 heads for home in the preliminary round of the Battle of the Brandywine. Artie's Dream posts a 155 and 3 victory, a fifth of a second off the track record for a three year old. The second division, much heralded French Chef, is all out. No No Nero bumps wheels, but French Chef pulls away for a 156 and 1 triumph. It's a rain marred June 14th. Famed Roy Shutt is the caller. There they go. French Chef goes right after that lead. Artie's Dream is second. Seahawk Hanover, who has like this kind of going, is coming up fast. On the outside, French Chef with the lead. Seahawk Hanover second. Artie's Dream is third. Eastern Skipper fourth. Sexton Alert is fifth. Curtis Hanover sixth. No, no, Nero. Curtis Hanover coming around for the first quarter. French Chef with that lead. Seahawk Hanover challenging. By the first quarter, 27 and 3, in spite of the rain. As they come by here, French Chef is bristling. Now this second quarter will tell. French Chef on top, Seahawk Hanover right there, second. Artie's Dream is third, Eastern Skipper fourth, second alert, fifth. Curtis Hanover six, computer, and No No Nero is the trailer. Around the turn, French Chef keeps the lead. It's French Chef into the half mile. Now there goes Artie's Dream up on the outside to challenge. Half time 57 and 4. Off the back stretch, French Chef stays there. A half a length on the outside. Artie's Dream is second. Seahawk Hanover third. Eastern Skipper is fourth. Second alert is fifth. Curtis Hanover sixth. Coming into the far turn. Seahawk Hanover on the outside. Artie's Dream now moving into the lead. Artie's Dream, French Chef, coming on Eastern Skipper. Into the three quarters. 125 and 3. They come to the top of the stretch. On the outside, Artie's Dream with that lead. Artie's Dream, French Chef, waiting to come on Eastern Skipper. Artie's Dream in the stretch. Artie's Dream, Eastern Skipper coming on the outside. Coming fast on the outside is Computer. Computer on the far outside, along the inside. It's Artie's Dream. Artie's Dream and Computer. Artie's Dream. Artie's Dream, the winner. Eastern Skipper plays second. Seahawk Hanover plays third. Computer off stride at the wire. The winning time, 155 and 1. This has been a Big B TV production. Boy, they're fun, aren't they? The blast from the past 1981 and Artie's dream seems like only yesterday that he won the Battle of the Brandywine in 1981. When we come back, we're going to see some great action at the Meadowlands. What a great top-to-bottom car they had this past Saturday night, including three limbs of the Hamiltonian and the Hamiltonian Oaks. And more when we come back here. Don't go away. Sue is the paparazzo of the group. She's the one that takes the photos of the things you want to remember and a few things you don't. Everyone plays a part at Harris. Only 10 minutes south of the Philadelphia airport. This is where it begins. Here's where it ends. Ron Pierce surging him on. It's Donato Hanover. It's the Donato Tonian. Hanover Shoe Farms, the greatest name in harness racing.